Oh my god! Oh my god! Hi! No! Dear Ariana Grande, you're unbelievably cute. No doubt, your height is just perfect for me. Your slim body and lovely face enhance your overall cuteness. You're a born beauty. You always have been adorable and pretty. You're a trendsetter too. Your hairstyle is a crucial point of your signature look. Your lustrous long and high ponytail gives you a perfect look. Your dress sense is liked by numerous people. Smile so infectious. I love you, my very own Barbie. Ariana Grande needs to read this letter herself. Let's get this straight, guy. Ariana Grande is a pop queen and one of the sultriest stars on the planet. The best thing about the latter is that she knows this and doesn't care who sees her when she's feeling flirtatious. She's an attention grabber, and that's no secret. But this is the question we need to answer. How exactly does Ariana make guys completely head over heels crazy for her? Let's try to find answers to these guys, shall we? Number 10. Could it be her signature look? If you were to look up high ponytail or cat ears in the dictionary, you would definitely see a picture of Ariana. Ariana Grande is probably the most recognizable for her high ponytail. Her iconic updo has become part of her, as she's rarely seen without it. If her hair isn't in a complete ponytail, you can be sure it's tied up somehow. Grande's ponytail is not for everyone, though. Singer Camila Cabello tried it and was met with extreme pain, to which Ariana responded that she's, quote, in constant pain always. Ariana might just have roots of steel. Also, in a Facebook post, Ariana explains why she first started rocking what is now known as her signature high ponytail. She explained how, after having to dye her hair red for years while playing Cat on Sam and Cat and Victorious on the Nickelodeon network, her hair was left completely destroyed and said, I wear it in a ponytail because my actual hair is so broken that it looks absolutely ratchet and absurd when I let it down. Is this why some guys are going crazy for Grande? We all know how brilliant Ariana is as a singer. She's got some major hits, from Problem 2014 to Thank You Next 2019 in the past decade. She's not only gained numerous honors, but also millions of hearts. Her fans are crazy about her and her songs, but very few of them know that Ariana is actually a huge hockey fan. The singer loved collecting hockey pucks since her childhood days. When she was at the age of five, she got hit by the hockey pucks twice. She once sat in the first row behind the penalty box, but a puck came and hit her. The little Ariana was there in her Panthers jersey, cheering on her team in the 1998 NHL games. She's been there for many hockey matches several times, and she grew up as a Panthers fan. In 2001, she sang the national anthem during the match between the Blackhawks and the Panthers. That was not the only time. She's been singing the national anthem in many opening ceremonies of hockey matches. She's a crazy hockey fan who has always cheered for the Panthers. We can see how Ari's love for a variety of sports could definitely catch a guy's attention. Number 8. One of the many other reasons why we adore Ariana is because of her love for her fans. In a video posted to her Instagram stories on Sunday, April 7th, Ari reminded her followers about the importance of putting their health first. Quote, I want to remind you guys to protect your peace and your energy, and not to forget to take care of yourselves, and to protect your space, she said while talking to the camera. The singer-songwriter went on to note that everyone is loved by friends and family, and we all have a lot of important SHT to take care of. I want to make sure that you don't run yourself into the ground and exhaust yourself, she said. Remember to protect your energy and do things that are good for you, and that you're loved and you're not alone. You deserve the best there is. Although Ariana's message was posted to her stories, many of her fans were quick to share it on their own social media platforms while noting how much her words meant to them. Honestly, she's the best, and if someone deserves the best, it's Ariana. Number 7. More reasons why guys go hard for Ariana is because of her unbiased love. As one of the top singers in the world, it's natural that Ariana has close friends within the industry. Some of her high-profile friends include Troy Sivan, Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Nicki Minaj, and the cast of her old Nickelodeon show, Victorious. Likewise, Ariana is supported by her group of close-knit friends. 
They were the inspiration behind her hit song, Seven Rings. The song is infamously known to be about Ariana going to get seven matching diamond engagement rings with her closest friends. Number 6. The way she outright stands against negativity, shuns toxic behavior, and stands for others draws guys towards her. Ariana has made it abundantly clear that she has no time for haters or toxic behavior. Way back in 2018, Ariana expertly shut down a misogynistic tweet blaming her for her ex-car crash. The tweet read, Mac Miller totaling his G-Wagon and getting a DUI after Ariana Grande dumped him for another dude, after he poured his heart out on a 10-song album to her called The Divine Feminine is just the most heartbreaking thing happening in Hollywood. In a somewhat matured text, Ariana replied saying, quote, how absurd that you minimize female self-respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship because he wrote an album about them. She writes, clarifying that only one song in the album was about her. Not that that matters. As she writes, I'm not a babysitter or a mother. No woman should feel that they need to be. I have cared for him and tried to support his sobriety and prayed for his balance for years, and always will, of course. But shaming slash blaming women for a man's inability to keep his shit together is a very major problem. Let's please stop doing that. After Grande's shutdown on what was happening with total firmness but no scorn or cruelty, the guy replied with an apology, simply saying, My sincerest apology, Ariana. Ariana did politely scold the guy but also won the hearts of many people with her response. Isn't that enough for guys to go gaga for her? You tell me, who doesn't want a woman that can stand up for herself and be polite about it? Number 5. Ariana Grande is full of countenance, and we've seen over the years how the artist presents herself 100% authentic in an interview with Allure magazine. Ariana said, I'm a huge advocate of self-expression, being yourself, and encouraging people to embrace who they are and the things that make them beautiful. I love people's uniqueness, the quirky, weird, and interesting and different things about everybody. It's been Ariana's intention to promote and instill authenticity and telling her stance to be true to themselves, even if it makes them seem a little weird. Speaking of being weird, Ariana even admitted that she was weird as a kid. She recalled a very interesting memory when she was a child. Ariana mentioned how weird she was as a child, painting an eccentric picture of her past. I used to run around my house in a scream mask with a hockey stick. It's how I expressed myself. Now all she wants to do is encourage her fans to do the same. I'm always trying to instill that in my fans. Ariana is very open with people and seeing just how genuine and entertainingly goopy she is, it's bound to make these boys weak in the knees. Number 4. Her meekness is admirable. Ariana Grande has blown up since her Nickelodeon days, but she never forgets how and where she started, and neither does her loving and supportive stance. Ariana is so appreciative of her fans that she tries to do whatever she can for them, and never wants them to feel disappointed. In an interview with Seventeen magazines, she said, If my fans want something, I'll always do my best to give it to them. Ariana is always taking into consideration what her fans want, and knowing her, she'll do whatever she can to see if it's possible to give them exactly what they ask for. Okay, this kind of thing makes it pretty easy to see why someone would gush over Ariana. Number 3. Grande still goes out for Halloween. While Grande is well known for her music career, what a lot of people might not realize is that she's also a big fan of Halloween. In fact, Grande is not like any other person who just dresses up for Halloween. She's actually obsessed with all things related to the holiday. Ariana Grande has loved scary things since when she was young. Ariana Grande's obsession with Halloween seems to have started when she was a kid. Her mother, Joan, was described to be goth before goth was goth, which perhaps explains why Grande grew up to love horror stuff. When Grande was a child, her mother once threw her a Jaws-themed birthday party. Joan shared with Elle, quote, Most of the kids were running and screaming because I had Jaws playing on a huge screen. The parents were like, are you crazy? Our kids don't watch that. But it was Ariana's favorite movie. Of course, Halloween in the Grande household was also a huge event. Joan liked to decorate the house with unusual decorations, such as body parts. I did the house up in things that would give normal children nightmares, she told Elle. I would go to the butcher, get heart organs or lungs, the kids would paint blood on the walls. As an adult, Grande still enjoys Halloween just as much. 
She once said that it was her quote, favorite holiday, bar none. So it's not surprising to see that Grande still has some interesting costumes for fans to see. She has been known to dress up as an angel, a vampire, and even a chicken. Grande sometimes goes for matching costumes with other people. Back when she was still on the show Victorious, Grande and her co-star, Elizabeth Gillies, dressed up as each other's characters. And when Grande was still dating Mac Miller, the couple had matching costumes in 2016 and 2017. Number 2. Grande Likes to Give Haunting Performances since Grande is a singer, there's no doubt that she enjoys combining her passion for music with her love for hair-raising performances. In October 2018, Grande took the stage on NBC's A Very Wicked Halloween, a TV special that commemorated Wicked's 15th anniversary on Broadway. Grande performed a spine-chilling rendition of the song The Wizard and I. Earlier that year, Grande also channeled her mother's goth spirit in a short performance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. The singer played a game of musical genre challenge, and sang Kendrick Lamar's Humble in a goth rock version. Her flexibility is definitely a sign that she packs a powerful charm to draw guys' attention. And finally, number one. Are you ready for this? Her beauty and strength. After the attack on her concert in Manchester, Ariana personally put on a show in order to honor the 22 fans that passed away. Even though it was emotional, she found the strength to put on an amazing show and change the lives of her fans. Coupled with her strength, she really is just sizzling hot. She's equally smart, talented, and she has a positive energy you can absolutely feel. Though beauty is subjective, Ariana is more than her looks. She has a unique set of style and is a trendsetter. Her ponytail, her clothes, and even her speaking style got copied by others. She's got a wonderfully attractive voice too. She's funny, savage, and extremely sweet to fans. She's a powerhouse vocalist and great performer, always having fun on stage while delivering excellent vocals. She's got a phenomenal range and her technique has improved so much. As for beauty, I guess her tan skin, her dimple, plump lips, and small defined nose are attractive features. Her tiny body, soft voice, and long ponytail give her a doll-like appearance, and who doesn't want to get hooked to a Barbie? Well, there you have it. These are 10 reasons why guys become zombies for Ariana Grande. What do you think of this? Are you falling for Ariana's charm? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by, and bye for now.